Hey guys, Fajima101 here with a first of the tiny tournament matches we took part in. Um, so tiny tournament happened uh, last weekend as I'm recording this. Um, it was over Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, rules were really, really simple. You could only bring Pokemon that were under a meter in height. Um, so it was a super interesting format. There was some very broken stuff in the format. Um, Porygon and Mulbreaker Excadrill. Oh my life, that thing was an absolute nightmare to deal with. Um, we did okay, I kind of just went to my box so what I got that I could use in the tournament and worked, sort of built a team around that. I hadn't really got much time to team build, so... Um, you can see we're bringing some ones that you're all fairly familiar with. One of the nice things with this tournament was you could bring ones from other gens, so we actually got a chance to bring a couple of old friends with us, which is quite cool. Um, so as you can see there, we've got Zelf, um, who I've not used before, but I wanted this fast special attacker, um, mainly because Katana was going to be everywhere in this format, um, early doors, it really looked like that thing was going to be super, super popular. Um, Zelf naturally outspeeds it and gets Flamethrower, so it one shots it into next week as well. Um, so we brought in Zelf purely for that and just to balance the team a bit more. Um, this is a bit of a two-mo team, so to speak, so we've got... Um, Three really slow mons and two, um, three really fast mons. So we've got fast mon wise, we've got uh, Mimikyu, Amolga, and Zelf, as you can see from the team preview on the right hand side of the screen. And then our slow mons, we had uh, I'm the best, Aramungus, Orphan, uh, Marowak, and Play Doh, uh, Muck. So some really familiar te teams, guys, in here. Um, I kind of wanted to use these. I haven't used Mimikyu too much. I haven't had a lot of much have a lot of luck running Mimikyu um, but I've had a little play with Rope Kill set now uh, and it seemed to work pretty well during this tournament and um, one of the nice things with this is I can either run it Trick Room if I'm running against something that naturally outspeeds me and try to shut it down that way or if the team I'm playing is relatively slow anyway we've got the fast mode type team on here as well um, I also wanted to bring a Molga because a Molga was is amazing um, so a Molga is super cool uh, I didn't get a chance to use one very often uh, I've had it for a while um, does get into a few matches, does okay, I think. I'm not sure if you'll see any of me. So these matches are the highlights of the stream. I think I ended up going plus three in the end. So I was relatively pleased with that. I know some people, um, like the Kanto Cast Blue, were like 27 and six losses or something silly. Um, unfortunately, I've, it's been a while since I've played this. Um, this, this, In fact, the last time I played this the, was actually the um, International Challenge, which was April, I think the last one of those is just going up on the channel today as I'm recording this, so uh, and that was the last time I played competitive, so there was quite a lot of ring loss, I lost a couple of games through some misclicks and some back plays where I thought I just took my time and fought it through um, however we did have some, some good games so we're going to put those up on the channel um, if you're excited for them uh, and I'm quite conscious I've been rambling on there for nearly three minutes, so um, if you're excited for them, go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, make sure make sub, make sure you subscribe for more content updates as well. Uh, as there'll be more of these going up. And it was a really fun format to play. So um, but we'll jump straight into this match a little against Melinia, who is bringing Whimsicott, who is a really good support and super fast. Thankfully for us, I'm the best does wall it pretty well. And Amolga, so super hyped to see somebody else other than me. I think this was the only other Amolga I saw on Battle Spot. Uh, and fun fact, I didn't see any more results either. I think it was only me running it. Uh, and like we see Lycan Rock, um, it's midday form, which was fairly common. I think a lot of people jumped on that straight away. And the other version, Shinotic, which is kind of like the crappy version of Amoongus, for want of a better expression. Um, but we'll get straight into the matchup. So the, looking at a team composition, um, I decided to open it with Mimikyu and the Moongus. Um, I figured Whimsicott would open and the Moongus on the vest pretty much walls it. Wasn't sure what else he was going to bring, but Mimikyu, obviously be, being behind disguise meant we could get Trick Room up if we needed to get Trick Room up. Uh, and gives us a few more options as well. So Whimsicott's Prankster is going to kick into him on. She's going to put a uh, Rope Kill on the timer, which is, you know, pretty fair enough. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about that, to be fair. Uh, as a Morgan goes for light screen, so I did talk with the idea of putting light screen on mine, but I wasn't sure. I had it on my Zelf, and when I was doing some team testing battle um, through, which I know isn't the best way of team testing, it was kind of the only way I got. Um, it didn't do two work, so we switched for April Protect. Um, Amoongus is just going to destroy Rimsicott, uh, as Mimikyu is going to get Trick Room up for us. So that's great news, because her team was super speedy. So um, we've got Trick Room up now. Uh, we're going to get poison damage here, but that's fine. So that go turn one for us out of... 
has um, paid off. So we really need to get clear of that Rimsicott because of shenanigans. And we need to trick him up because Lycan Rock coming in. Um, Amoongus is going to go for a Giga Drain. We are now the fastest thing on the field thanks to Rogue Kills. Trick Room going up. Um, it does a nice big jump. As the Amorgus, she does make some good plays. He tries to actually encore me into Trick Room. So I'd end up taking my own Trick Room down. Unfortunately for her though, this Mummy Q packs Mental Herb. Um, so we can't get taunted or anything to stop Trick Room going up. Um, we do miss the player off, which is frustrating. Uh, no, sorry, we don't miss the player off. Um, she does miss the Rock Slide, which would have broke our disguise. I don't think it would have made a big difference in this match, though, because uh, Mimikyu is super fast and we hit like a truck as well. So a Morga there is going to take a ton of damage and go down to one. Um, I'm amazed it lived that. Must have been, well, maybe not. So Shadow Sneak's going to kick in because although we're under Trick Room, that gets priority just to polish off this Amorga before it can try any other elf shenanigans wise. As Giga Drain from Moongus is going to take out this Lycan Rock. Um, so that, getting that Trick Room up there, absolutely key to winning this game. Um, and we're now down into a four on one situation. So. Uh, Toxic's going to build up on Broke Kill, but yeah, whatever. Uh, Shinotic's going to come out. As I say, this thing is... I kind of like it, but at the same time, I love Amoongus, and it's kind of like a worse version of Amoongus. So we're going to Shadow Sneak on the off chance that it's carrying a Sash. That actually does quite a lot of damage. Uh, and Amoongus is just going to Sludge Bomb. Uh, super effective. And although we've got no special attack investment, it is going to destroy that. Is it times four? Is it Grass Fairy or fa just Fairy? I can never remember, but still. Um, so that's going to be game. That was actually our second game that uh, we got 4 0 on. And we got 4 in the first game, but the guy bought a little cup team. So I'm not going to replay that because it wasn't particularly competitive. Um, this one I felt was a little bit better because getting to say, we got to see the Trick Room kicking in and we got to see Mental Herb on Mimikyu as well, which is quite cool. So I um, hope you enjoyed that one, guys. If you did, make sure, you, as I said earlier, go and hit that like button down below and sub for more content. I've been Fajrim 101, and if I don't see you around, I will see you on Battle Spot. Take care for now. Bye.